In last section, we created a table using HDB CDS, and there are other ways of creating the table as well. So let's see a few more. So what I can do is I can just right click here, go to new, and here I have an option of database artifact. Because we can't have all the types here, because it's a short list, we can use this database artifact. And what we'll be using is we'll be using HDB table. So here you can see. There are a lot of options available. HDB series, collection, constraint, function, grants. A lot of variation is available here. Uh, what we'll be doing is HDB table because we want to create a table. So I just use a dummy name, customer here, and I say create. Now here you have to write the code. So I have a code ready. I will leave the code in resource section. You can check that out. So we'll just paste it here because it's a simple code. And you won't be doing this in your day-to-day -day project life. You won't be creating column tables like this. So what we are doing here is we are creating a column table customers, and this name need not be same. Okay, this customer and this customer, that's okay. And here we have ID as integer, the name, whether it is active or not, country, and we define that ID is our primary key, and this is just the comment maintained for that table. So this is simple table which we are trying to create. And you can see the whole hierarchy is pending for deployment. Only this is deployed, so it's not showing as pending. But we have created this, and this is pending. So all the above folders are also pending for deployment. Because if it has any of the object which is not deployed, then it will show for the whole hierarchy. So what you can do is you can say right click and build, or or you can just save it first like this. You can save all from here, and I will right click and say. Build selected files. So we'll be building this file. We want to create this customers column table. So this is column table, columnar table, which we are creating with these four columns. This is simple process, basic process. So this is one of the way of creating a table in your system. So you can see the build is complete. So I can right click and go to open SDI container, or I can go from here as well. And here it will refresh for tables, and I see customers is created. I can open this. So I'll say I can just double click, and it will show me all the columns which it has. So these are the four columns, and this is the key which is not null. The structure is created. The table is created. Now I want to load the data. So one way we already saw was insert statement. We could generate the data. What if I have a data in my file? I want to upload that file. Then also we can do it. So let's get a notepad here, and we'll create a file. Okay. So here I have ID. I will quickly create a file for us to consume. This is a simple file. Uh, ID and name is test active one is yes. I guess country is IN for example. Right, so this is a simple file. There is no header here, so I will say save as, and I say all files, and I will give a name as customer file CSV. So this comma separated, so I will say CSV, and I say save. Okay, this save. Let's try to consume this file. How do you upload this file into this table? Right click and say import data. So here you have option of import data. I will say step two, and I want to upload from my local drive. Does this file has header? I will say no. Trim the white spaces. A delimiter. Try to auto detect, or you can give. We have comma, but it's okay. Uh, it can auto detect as well. And here I will try to import the file. This is my customer file. I say okay. So. It has taken that file. There is no error, so it's showing step three. So I go here and it just confirms the detail. There is a table, and there is the schema default, and it says column one, two, three, four. ID, name, active, country. So it is giving by default names because we have a delimiter as comma. So according to that, it's saying that column will get assigned to this, two to this, three to this, four to this. I say okay. Step five. And it just gives you option whether you want to, you know, save the data if there is an error and things like that. I will just say review, and I will say import into database. So here you just see the same thing as a confirmation of last step, and you can edit it 
here as well. So I will say import into database. So import is complete, done. And what I can do is right click, open data. So I got the data here, ID, test, one, and the codes were not necessary. So it's okay. So we got the data in here. So this was one of the way through which you can create the data and load the data. If you have CSV files, you can just get the data in from your files and upload into your database. Now, another way of creating table is simply, you can say generate create statement. So it will generate a create statement for that table, right? So if you see here, there's similar statement. So it says create column table basically. And uh, here you can go. And these are the columns by default showing, right? And these are the same thing basically. So here, what I will do is I already have customers. So I will say customers two, for example, or you can also click here, SQL console will open and here you can write that code, but uh, we have the same console and it is written. So this is the schema, this is the table. Let's create this table. So I will just say create. So it has executed in 20 millisecond and we have customer two as well here. And here also you can import the data. So these are some of the ways through which you can create table when you are using web ID. So I just wanted to show you how you can create table. If you want to upload the data manually, uh, there are ways of doing it. Now going forward, we won't be using these tables or these codes like this. We will be using ready-made code or we will be using files. The idea is to use files basically like this. Uh, HDB table or HDB CDS because these are the design time files which you want to create. What happens with SQL statement is you don't move your SQL code throughout the landscape. If you have dev quality and production, then each time you have to create the table in each system and that particular user should have access to create table in that particular system, which won't be possible in dev. You will have option of creating in SQL, but in future system or for the systems, you won't have the access to do so. So the ideal way is to create a design time object like this, which will generate a runtime object. So we'll be creating everything, all the artifacts from here. And we'll be using this database just to see that data, just to see those objects at the database level. And we'll see how it creates and what is the data and those kind of stuff. So let's go further and uh, we'll see how we can add more data or more files or more tables into this so we can build upon it and create our future models on top of those. I will see you in next section. Thank you.